Welcome. Today we're going to learn about evaluating expressions. Specifically, evaluating expressions using things called parentheses, brackets, and braces. But first, let's talk about just what is an expression. Expressions are not the same as an equation. This is because expressions do not contain an equal sign. They also do not include inequality signs like greater or less than. So when you see an expression, it will not have either of these symbols. However, expressions can include numbers and variables. At this point, you should know that variables are letters or symbols that represent a number. Now we're going to look at the three different symbols. The first one that I will draw in pink is called parentheses. Now, parentheses you have probably seen before in English class, but we use them in math too. Next, I'll draw in blue. You're going to have what are called brackets. Then last, in green, you're going to have these funny looking ones. These are called braces. Now you may be thinking, why are these symbols important? Well, they are important because all three of them enclose expressions. So what does that exactly mean? Well, it means to enclose means they're closed in. So if we have a parentheses, there will be an expression like three times four in between them. Okay, they're just in between. They also are super important, and this one you really need to remember is because they are always done first. This will make more sense when we look at an example. Let's go do that now. Let's look at our first example. So we have the expression. The first part is in parentheses, and it says 12 divided by 4 outside the parentheses is plus 2. Let's solve it. Remember before I said that you must solve what's inside the parentheses first. So I know that 12 divided by 4 will be done first. And this equals 3. Then I bring down whatever I have left over. I have 3. I bring down my plus 2. And 3 plus 2 equals 5. So my answer is 5. It's really important you understand you have to do what's in the parentheses first, then the brackets, then the braces. Let's look if we do the same problem, but we change the position of the parentheses. So again, we will have 12 divided by 4 plus 2. This time, though, I'm going to take my parentheses and I'm going to put them around 4 plus 2. So we'll do that first. I know that 4 plus 2 is 6. Then I'll bring down what's left over, which is 12, and the division sign. 12 divided by 6 is 2. What do you notice? You should see that by changing where the parentheses is, it also changes our answer. This is why it's very important you follow this rule. Let's look at a more difficult problem. In this expression, you will notice that we have both parentheses, which are in pink, and brackets, which are in blue. So we need to do them in that order. First, we're going to do the innermost enclosed numbers, which will be the parentheses in pink. So we'll first do 2 times 3 which is 6. Next, we need to bring 
everything we have left down, including the brackets. Now, the parentheses have disappeared, but we will still bring the brackets down, and then we'll add in the rest of our information. So, I see now I still have brackets, but I already did my parentheses. So I'll move on and let's do the brackets. For the brackets, I see I have four plus six. I know that this is 10. So my brackets are complete and I can move on to bringing the rest down. So I have three multiplied by 10. Three times 10 we know is 30. So your answer is 30. Make sure when you're doing these problems, you're always working from the inside to the outside. Or if you remember this order, it goes parentheses, brackets, braces. Let's try one more problem. This time we'll use all three, parentheses, brackets, and braces. Here is an expression using all three symbols. I know this can look intimidating, but I promise it's super easy. What do we first start with? Did you guess parentheses? If so, you're correct. We want to start with the most inside numbers, which is going to be our parentheses. And we see here, we have three plus five. Remember, we're going to add those numbers and bring them down. So three plus five is eight. Next, bring the rest of our numbers and symbols down. So I see that I have two times and I have to bring down my brackets next. And then I have minus nine and I have to bring down my braces last. Just remember, solve and then bring everything that's left down and keep yourself organized. So next, I know that I need to do what? The braces or the brackets? If you said brackets, you guessed right. So I will do my brackets, which tell me I need to multiply two times eight which we know is 16. Remember, bring everything that's left down. So I see that I have minus nine and I still have my braces. Then you can surely guess the last step is to do what's inside the braces, which I see is 16 minus nine, which is seven. So our solution to the problem is seven. Here's one last expression for you. Try to solve this one on your own. Pause the video now and I'll come back in about 10 seconds and give you the answer. I'm about to go over the answer, so if you haven't had enough time, pause the video again. Okay, I'm starting now. Did you start first with our parentheses? You should have added three plus three, which we know is six. Then we bring everything else down. And I have some brackets left. Then I have our 60 divided by, whoops, and our braces. Next, I'm going to do my brackets. So inside the brackets, I have six minus one. I know that's easy, that's five. Again, I bring everything that's left down. When I come down, my brackets are finished so they disappear and I have left my braces. If I do everything inside my braces, I have 60 divided by five. Did you get 12 as your answer? 
You guys have done awesome. Keep up the great work and remember to do the correct order. Parentheses, brackets, braces. Thank you for watching the video. We had an amazing teacher make this video for us and they did a great job. If you like the video and want to support me in making more videos, please subscribe and watch our other YouTube videos. You can also support me by going to magemath.com and purchasing the MageMath video game. It is a really fun game that combines math and fantasy adventure into one awesome video game. We also have lots of free content on the website like math escape rooms and worksheets, so check it out!